Hi, this is Gali Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. Today, our quote of the day is, a shortcut is the longest distance between two points by uh, Charles Isawi. Now, this is such a powerful quote. I used to be the queen of shortcuts, always searching for the easiest way. But really, as Beverly Sills put it, there are no shortcuts to any place worth going. Now, this quote has so changed my life that I have it right next to my bed so that I never forget. Now, perhaps it may seem that I do everything from start to finish, uh, in my life because I have four university degrees and many other diplomas and um, and other things but I wasn't always like that and uh, things were not always like this for me I used to always search for the easiest and fastest way to do something uh, but I never came to anywhere good by cutting corners I spoke about this in my previous um, video regarding bulimia it was the easiest uh, path to choose instead of going the hard way and searching for a real way to change my um, eating habits. Now, this is a very, very important lesson difference between a mature person and a child. When you do things in the right way, you gain so much in the process. For example, for every degree that I finished, of course, there were courses that I really did not like to take, but I had to do them anyway to complete the degree. And this taught me that I can cope with challenges. Now, not everything in life will always be fun but instead of seeing something as hard and instead of choosing choosing to see it as difficult choose to see it as a challenge and when when we say the word challenge then it brings up something that we want to fight for that we want to do it, it's a challenge and we like to take on challenges and this can change our whole mindset about it now i know how fun and exhilarating it can be to reach a goal that you have set for yourself I have reached many of my goals and they, it was fantastic to reach them. But most of our life, we don't spend touching base with our goals, with the end result of our goals, but rather being in the process of achieving them. Therefore, we have to learn to enjoy the process just as much as we think we will enjoy reaching the goal itself. In fact, if we enjoy the process and we learn something valuable during the process of reaching our goals, then even if we fail at reaching our goals, then we never really failed at all since we gained a lot of value in the process and probably became someone much better as a human being than we were before. We took up this whole process of going after our goal. So for this reason, no matter what you choose to do in life, I recommend doing it with all your heart. You will gain a lot of reward just from doing that, just from doing everything that you do from all of your heart. There will be difficult times following any path that you choose to go by. But if you see these moments as challenges, then instead of difficulties, then you can get into the right mindset to help you overcome the challenge. Now, in nature, you can never make the process of growing any food or anything really shorter than it really uh, needs to be. It also won't be longer than it needs to be, but it definitely won't be shorter and it can't be rushed. But, but if you look at it, a ripe fruit will actually fall from the tree right into your hands without much effort when it is ready. And the same thing with everything in life. If we take action in the right direction, even with small baby steps, but persistent baby steps, then we will reach our goal and once the effort was put in, it will seem as if the goal, uh, the result that you desired will actually fall into your lap after taking a lot of effort. Now, my husband and my first husband and I were always having a, we're always uh, quarreling about uh, where our girls should live. They were in joint custody, and uh, but we always thought that it would be better for them to live in one house. Now, uh, we had this fight about whether his house or my house for 10 years. And we were regular in, in court battles uh, about this. <laughs> now, at the time, 
uh, I was making very little money and as a student and this was his head over me of taking the girls because our daughters with special needs and need a lot of money to provide all of their needs as well as extra care to help for to help them now then one day I get a call from him and he's decided to simply give me the custody to give them over to me and the reason was that his new wife did not uh, really enjoy them at having them at home so he just simply gave up and gave me custody and I couldn't believe it but when the time is right if you persist you will get what you desire and the problem is often that we don't persist because we are we know deep inside that we're headed in the wrong direction for us now when you really do not enjoy the process of reaching a certain goal you will probably never reach it because when you do not enjoy something you will have many many competitors but when you love doing something and you love the process of getting somewhere you really have no competition because you are simply having fun now in the restaurant business for example you will notice that only people who have a passion for what they are doing will succeed in general over 95 percent of restaurants uh, uh, fail and close because the work is so so hard and if you enjoy the work this this hard work then no matter how hard it will be and from personal experience it is very hard I had four uh, health rest restaurants I can tell you that it is very very hard but for someone who enjoys the process they will not only gain from only a successful restaurant but also from having fun in the process now in any and all fields of life taking the shortcut will never give lasting results as we know with dieting for example you may be able to lose weight fast by following a fad diet but this can never bring long-term results that can only come with change of eating and lifestyle habits so taking the right way which may also be the most difficult way if we if we look at it um, it may seem like it's the most difficult way of going through but we're going through all of the experiences and preparation that we need to gain along the way so in the end actually this long and difficult way is actually the easiest and shortest way so when you enjoy the process of reaching a particular goal but release attachment from uh, getting the result that you desire then you have already won you never know perhaps maybe the universe has something even better planned for you for this reason non-attachment from the results is a major path towards inner peace you know that you are doing the right thing and that it is something that you like and then whatever the result is which may be far even far better than you ever imagined uh, for yourself will be happily accepted for example uh, we have children and we raise them and we know that each child has their own personality and their own desires and wishes and if you do your best at raising them to be happy independent honest and good people then you know that you gave it your all and you did your best and this process of raising children should be fun but later on in life uh, you can have a lot of uh, good come back to you from your children uh, uh, from how they lead their life and this is an extra benefit for you it's a it's the it's a good result but your happiness should not depend on the results you get but rather on doing your best to reach a goal that you were after if you don't enjoy the process you are probably going after the wrong goal and most often for the wrong reasons someone once said and I think it was Alan Watts that when you are dancing there is no goal you just enjoy the dance itself and with this in the same goes for music when you enjoy uh, when you're not waiting to the end of the song to enjoy it you're enjoying it during the song and during the dance and you're having fun so if we would live our life like this focused but still enjoying the process the quality of our life would be much better and happier and also of course healthier so think about your life as it is uh, and as I always do with these videos I will provide you a question that you want to ask yourself to help you move your life towards a better place for you so the question of the day that you want to ask yourself is where in my life am I not enjoying the process of reaching my goals 
where in my life is the process too expensive for me? Now, when I ask uh, this, I'm not talking in terms of money expensive, but rather in terms of time and effort. Where in your life is the process not enjoyable and not worthwhile for you? And where could you put your effort so that the process will be more enjoyable and attractive for you? So as usual, I recommend writing this question in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over this and see how you can improve your life from this moment on. Now the affirmation of the day is, I do what is best for me and I choose to do the right things in my life and I enjoy the process. I do what is best for me, I choose to do the right things in my life and enjoy the process. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do because with repetition and affirmation has the power to alter your consciousness so that you think and behave differently for a better, happier and healthier life for you. So thank you very much for joining me here today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I upload these kinds of videos about every day and also visit my website, thegorillediet.com for lots of health and uh, information programs, books, anything to do with a healthy lifestyle. So thank you very much for joining me.